Active and passive voice. Verbs have five properties. Mood, tense, number, person, and voice. This video is about voice. I'm going to read one page from my grammar book. For an active voice, the subject performs the action. I, subject, built a treehouse. As for the passive voice, the subject receives the action. A treehouse, subject, was built by me. The active sentence is to the point, so write an active voice. The passive voice usually has a pattern, a form of be, a past participle, sometimes a preposition, and a noun or pronoun. This book was, form of be, written, past participle, by, preposition, me, noun or pronoun. A passive sentence can be too wordy. However, there are times to use a passive voice. Businesses often use the passive voice. A mistake was, form of be, made, past participle, on your bill. The passive voice doesn't take responsibility like the following sentence. We made a mistake on your bill. So the passive voice is ideal when you don't want to take responsibility for your actions. A passive voice is useful for, police re for a police report. Every pen was, form of being, stolen, past participle, from the school. Since a thief or thieves is or are unknown, one person or many people, a passive voice focuses on the crime and not on the criminal or criminals. Some scientific journals are written in the passive voice. Smoking was, form of being, found, past participle, to be harmful by us, rather than we found smoking was harmful. I want you to write with an active voice unless the responsibility is obscure, the doer is unknown, or the doer is not important. I'll put a link below. Teachers, get this book. Parents, just Google it.